Ok. Uf. Slim James. <laughs> This is how you call the sausages. Ok. Some more. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate. Yay. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And I found finally some beef like this so I can use for my sandwich. And I got two of them. So we have lots of turkey, chicken, pork rarely uh, beef like this is one brand of smoked meat sticks these ones are local uh, Sibiu Sibiu you know it's a city here that we visited in Transylvania and they make a really famous salami here in Romania but I saw these Sibiu sticks cool okay give me some They said they are raw, dry, and smoked, these ones. Pork meat. So yeah, this is what I got. I ate some of these, and we're gonna use this, and the cheese. And sauerkraut, problem. <laughs> I couldn't find the one on the jar, like I couldn't find it anywhere. And I had to order shredded um, sauerkraut in a bag and I got, it's one kg of that. So I had to take some of it uh, and let it drain excess liquid and I put the rest in the freezer because it's a lot. Okay, let me have a sip of my delicious coffee here. Cheers. And we're gonna make the um, filling for... Um, for the cake oh this is good so we have here part of the filling but we need to whip up some uh, whipping cream so we can um, mix with that okay god come on Luckily, I didn't spill it all. The pot is too tiny for the eye here. So that pot always tends to... But I was so afraid I'm going to spill all of that on me. <laughs> okay. Crisis avoided. Only a tiny bit spilled. Let me clean the floor. I have a drop on the floor. <laughs> Coffee yeah um let me get some whipping cream have it here uh, and i will use Whoa. More head cheese, stinky cheese. <laughs> More head cheese, stinky cheese. Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> Doesn't have any cheese in it. I don't understand why they call it head cheese. Like, why? Why is called head cheese? Can anyone tell me, Blue? Thank you so much. And all this help, uh, helps me with the road and so, so I can go to brush off. So it means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, amen. Treasures started to appear in stores. Uh, treasures started to appear in stores. I cannot help myself. Every time I go to a store and I found cute things for the baby. Look here. Look here. It's a bunny with a doggy. 
and says lots of fun with cooking and they have flowers and cookies and look how cute this is <laughs> and has like tulle at the sleeves and it's so soft look how cute that says <laughs> yeah i love it lots of fun with cooking mm -hmm. okay and I hate cheese you have it coarser ground that what I'm used to yeah I told you that the one that it's in Canada is totally different that we have here yours is like shredded meat it's like just shredded meat here no we like to see the chunks of meat in there no shredded no 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 <laughs> and look at this mm oh my god I love this so much it's pleated see has pl uh, pl pleats plates okay with flowers and look how cute this one it's a bit see-through but has a like a silky underskirt super cute i love it <laughs> yours looks more like sus yeah i don't know but ours is like uh, with chunks of meat and look at this cotton dress look at these sleeves they're like butterfly sleeves so sweet so cute look at these where here <laughs> i got it a bit bigger because i know when they're gonna wash it will will shrink a bit because this one is like cotton and linen somehow and has flowers and roses and poppy flowers and it's super cute and in the back has uh, has uh, buttons i like details like this even if uh, you know they're for kids it's really nice to see that the things are well made and not you know i hate to see that threads are coming off or yeah so i love i look at details i want things to be well made to be soft cotton it's so pretty she'll be a little princess oh yeah i love her so much she's so adorable she's sicky now yeah she's sicky because her cousin is going to daycare and he's with lots of kids and you know brings home all the viruses and everything that all the kids have and uh, i think she got something from him so she's sicky right now <laughs> yeah so i am building up a stash i will keep them here to show them to her she really loves to see what i get for her <laughs> very cute. nice clothes for spring here we are prepping for for easter and one custom here is on easter day all the kids to have new clothes you know because you go to a church with new clothes so yeah <laughs> lots of easter stuff in stores now i i was lucky today because i got 30 percent of those off i didn't knew like wow <laughs> so i was lucky yeah <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put whipping cream and this one, the rest of this here. Okay. I need to get something for Vladuts. It's so much fun to shop for girls. <laughs> you know? So I need to get something for him for Easter. <laughs> I keep buying for, for Hazel because I love buying for kids, for baby girls. Is there a maple tradition maple tradition in Romania? I don't know what maple is. Let me Google this, okay? 
let me see what maple is um oh like a wooden pole with things like that i think in the past yeah i used to be like these uh, festivals like uh, country festivals i think it used to be yeah but lately no not not that i know for me no i didn't grow up with that thing uh, hi zenit hello uh the girls already made 12 nests in the trees and they were removed just recently yeah you're lucky that uh, they actually try to remove them but here they don't do that okay cheers we're gonna need um uh, we're gonna need ruby spring is the season for pagan fun let's go <laughs> Yeah, lots of customs and yeah, lots of fun customs. We use ruby to make whipping cream. And let me find the proper whisk. Torino, how are you? How's the weather for you? <laughs> so I'm low speed in the beginning. And we're gonna increase weather shred for block and pass for 15.6. Remember doing the maple tradition and delivering May Day baskets? Yeah, we don't have this here. I don't know exactly how it's sunny out. I have coffee. It should be a good day. Nice, enjoy. It's cloudy here, cloudy, cloudy, and windy. Samsung. Oh my goodness, Lord. Minus 22 Celsius. <laughs> <Or you know. laughs> That's cold, man. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, I don't... Uh... <laughs> I said the design was out. <laughs> <laughs> oh if you have Sanya, that um, cheerful event, you know. I was yesterday in. Uh, let me lower the speed on this so I can talk to you. I was yesterday in Tom's stream, and he was fishing out. Good Lord, so nice. The sun was shining, such a blue sky and the water was like a mirror, like crystal clear and the, the sky was, you know, reflecting in the water. It was like the most bright, amazing, wonderful miracle ever, like so nice. It was cold because he took the fish out of the water and by the time he showed it to us, was frozen like legit <laughs> frozen <laughs> like you've taken out from the freezer but so nice so nice <laughs> ruby <laughs> you singing now it was we made baskets also it was a great family project too i grew up in a city so all Easter events were in the city, so yeah. The main thing we used to go to the church, like the whole week before the Easter, every night we used to go to the church because 
There are so many really nice events of the church, you know. Uh, people are singing and all of that, yeah. I was talking yesterday with my mom and she was with... Uh, I have friends in England, no thank you. Um, it's a personal option, you know, choice. Uh, for me, to do the Lent is more than just a dietary option, you know. You need to, to cleanse your mind as well, not just your plate. Uh, and the food that you eat. So if you're not ready for that, yeah. I am too much of a heart. <laughs> it will be taking off. When I'm gonna see hubby and the child, I'm see them every day, but I'm gonna go there in the summer, end of June or beginning of July. I think this is the plan uh, if we manage to do all the paperwork and stuff so I can change my passport and my friends here do the land uh, are happy that Crawfish is okay, okay, the least, really? I didn't knew that. For us, it's no meat, no fish, only certain days. Uh, Saturday was uh, allowed to eat fish. But no meat, no fish, no eggs, no milk, no cheese, no alcohol. Okay, it's whipping up good now. So I'm gonna experience summer uh, because I went there only during winter <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna experience summer. Most of my friends have been doing that for a simple thing. <laughs> It takes so long, I don't know, with the smaller in a cup, because this is like an open bowl, it takes longer. Yeah. My neighbor probably. Should be wonderful summer for you, hard to be a newlywed. Yeah, it's true, my man, it's true. We try to make the best of our time together. Uh, you know, so every moment uh, that we have together, it's a wonderful, cheerful, appreciate it. I need to do this more, it's not ready. Yeah. And I miss the baby and she's missing me. Uh, last night, um, last night, yesterday, because I'm saying last night because it was for me last night. <laughs> Because we are like this, I'm going to sleep there during daytime and so on. Uh, John cleaned the, the room and he moved my jacket to another corner of the of the room in one of those boxes with the leads, you know. And I had on my jacket a poppy flower that he gave to me. Uh, and the flower fell on the floor and the baby last night found the floor and he said, mommy, mommy, and the jacket, so, so he can give her the jacket, so she put the flower on my jacket, <laughs> so sweet, come on whipping cream, whip up faster. <laughs> Mm 
think he knows everything and he's so smart and yeah. Okay. Oof. Good lord, that was loud. <sighs> yeah, she knows everything. <laughs> So now we should combine these two together. Turn it even faster, I wanna see Ruby fly. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I will uh, stir a bit into this one because as you can see, it's solid now. Mom, 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 mommy, mother, mom. <laughs> yeah, I hope that can be together soon yeah uh, so one of the papers it's on its way I actually met today the post uh, office uh, woman and asked her if she has anything for me and she said no not yet so hopefully this week or next week I'm gonna have the first paper and today he's gonna e uh, mail me the other paper uh, he got it yesterday so yeah and after that we will see how long the things will take here The whisk got so, you know, I need to take everything out of the whisk first. <laughs> like so. And I'm gonna be there when Folklor Folklorama festival is gonna be on so i i need to take my romanian traditional shirt with me what award have you won i won these <laughs> my play button from youtube <laughs> mmm is so sweet she she wrote the the <laughs> yeah i won these <laughs> and i work hard for it you know i'm not Take it for granted. <laughs> Thank you, Magman. Okay, the last of these.
um, I was watching, speaking of YouTube, <laughs> friends, I'm talking with you about stuff that crosses my mind or things that I, you know, see online or stuff because uh, you are my friends. I have no one to talk about these things. I am yapping in John head <laughs> a lot, you know. <laughs> okay, Blue, thank you so, so much. Thank you. Have an awesome day. So yesterday I saw an interview with Andy McDowell. I don't know if you know her. She did lots of um, uh, movies. I think she was the face for L'Oreal. Probably she still is. So I, I saw her yesterday on an interview and she's a fascinating woman and with lots of experience and, you know, really fun to listen to her, not just uh, see her as an actress, but also see her as a human being. So I watched her interview and she was saying that uh, she's... Uh, uh, she, she was talking about the, the age that she has and she let her hair gray and all of that so she was saying that she feels so comfortable comfortable in her own skin by this now and she's okay with being old and she's not afraid of the word war uh, old and yeah okay grill yeah 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 <laughs> For the last month, on and off, and now it has been more than off. My Twitch app video is frozen, and no audio, and the wild semicircle going around for only chat yesterday. I had a workaround, and I'm using the Twitch mobile for uh, the video and the audio. If I miss anybody and don't answer, that was is why. Oh, Yenta, thank you so much for being here. I actually thought about you the other day because I haven't saw you in chat in so long. So I hope you, well, everything is good. Try to reinstall and uh, see if you have any updates for your phone, for your PC and for your app as well. Try to uninstall it and reinstall it again. That might fix some things. Okay, so let me tell you about the, the woman. So she was telling, talking about her age and that she's super comfortable and uh, she's even a model now for fashion shows at her age and yeah, she's doing everything with fun and she's living life, you know, comfortable in her own skin with the age that she has. And after this interview, I watched a girl that she was almost 30 years old and she uh, was uh, trying to do a challenge uh, in the Valley of the Dead in USA, which is the hottest uh, area uh, in the world, I think, where temperatures are um, almost uh, unbearable and nothing lives there so yeah and she was doing the challenge uh, I'm on Android I relo reloaded the page and it's working now so I like to watch people that inspire me you know I did the same when I started working out so I'm trying to to educate myself in the areas that are interesting me at the moment. It's not a day over 29, forever. <laughs> 29? I think I am like 24. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't care about this. The important is to be yourself, to be happy with what you're doing, and to try to do the things that you love as much as possible. Uh, so let me tell you about this girl. Oh my goodness. The whole video was her crying that she's gonna turn 30, like a day or so after the challenge, and uh, that the, uh, my scam watch. And that the COVID period ate uh, two years of her life and she was crying and complaining that uh, being 30 is old and oh my goodness i couldn't <laughs> something in me like for real 
What's wrong on being 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100? How many people get the luck to reach that age? People, how many? You're lucky if you're getting old these years, you know? With all the stress that we have, with all the craziness in our lives, we are lucky if we reach any age. Be lucky, be happy. And she was doing what she was loving, like running and doing YouTube and all of that. And she was just crying that she's doing 34 real. Get over yourself, woman. <laughs> But for real, and I saw people that are 60, 70, 90, that are happier than, uh, than you know, uh, 29 or 30 or whatever. And uh, speaking about this, my mom is uh, babysitting uh, uh, Vladuz, my nephew that is two years old. And I talked yesterday with my mom and I asked her, where are you now? with the Vladuts and she said I'm at your sister house because if I go home my mom lives with my grandma or my grandma lives with my mom better saying and she says if I go home grandma is agitating Vladut so much and they run around the whole house and Vladut is getting agitated and my grandma is 90. <laughs> So my grandma that is 90, 90 she's agitating Vladus that is true. <laughs> Let's go. I need a sandwich and some cake. Oh yes, Wayne. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good morning. I'll be 58 this summer and have more enjoyment than I did at 28. Exactly, exactly. And you overcome things in your life and at 20 something maybe you weren't allowed due to situation in your life that you could control or not to do everything that you wanted or not. So now you, you learn to appreciate life and enjoy and do the things that you want the way you want. <laughs> so I laughed with my mom yesterday. I called Amazon who owns Twitch. And at first they gave me the uh, run around. They told me that they own Twitch. Oh, let me go back. But they are two separate services. M uh, me being a computer tutor, I asked them for some email addresses. Um, that they finally gave me some that worked me and answer is that I got one to check the Wi-Fi and it if it's fast here, I was told to uh, them if I updated my phone to the latest operating system and I did the next day, they sent me an email, asked me to answer the exact same question. Today, 70% have the same app issues as me. Yeah, it's true, Yenta. And we have here uh, I, Morning River. You see her in chat is our friend. And she had so many issues with the app. At some point, she couldn't resubscribe. She wanted to subscribe and she couldn't do that because it was giving an error. She couldn't watch the stream at some point. It was like, and beside the fact that she could couldn't subscribe to herself we couldn't give her a subscription either like was the craziest error possible uh, hi Iron Gate. hello how are you feeling hello hello nice to see you So my grandma at 90 years old is the agitator of the house. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have some chocolate. What kind of sandwich? Ruben sandwich. Ruben one. We make Ruben sandwich for the first time ever. I only ate once in Canada when uh, Carl Scott ordered for us and John told me this morning that, that that sandwich was the best sandwich he ever had in his life and for me as well so today we try to make something similar you know <laughs> I need some chocolate I 
see I need about 150 let's see if I can scoop from that mm, or not yeah I think I can start with without mixing it I'll just let it like this you can use Nutella any chocolate that you can spread uh, you can use Sammy yes you can make your own corned beef pretty easy uh, yeah I mean but just for me you know I just needed to buy something yeah I know I know I saw recipes online maybe when I'm gonna be with uh, with uh, John I can make for him <laughs> yeah but just for me one sandwich right <laughs> I'm feeling okay, had plastic surgery. Yes, you told us that you had uh, plastic surgery. I mean, no pain, just the itchiness, yeah, yeah. So uh, you you improve anything with that? They took off the, um, the band-aids or something that they were bothering you? Because I remember you said that they are super, super itchy and they were bothering you. Well, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> okay. Cake. 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 Oh, a hug for him. Good, I mean, good. He needs a hug. <laughs> okay. I put, I don't know, only one I have here or two. Hi, Ergezu. Hello, hello. How are you? Yeah. Happy Tuesday! How are you today? Will you use hugs? Will you use? Yeah, you have to start loving yourself first. Uh, will you use, you know? <laughs> I'm good, Argezu. I'm good. I'm good. I'm making a cake um, and a super yummy sandwich today. I ripped off the bandages about six hours later. <laughs> Could not take it. Just keep cleaning, uh, cleaning them off, and oh my goodness, you're brave! <laughs> you're brave. <laughs> okay, let's remove this from here and this from here. Okay, put this here. Wayne, what you eating today? What you cooking today? So I'm trying to remove the sponge cake that we made yesterday with walnuts. So I can have it here. I wanted to scratch my chest like a grill. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> You don't want to let them heal. Right now I'm having my blueberry oatmeal. Later I'm having my daughter chicken noodle soup. Yummy. Uh, I have a coffee. Third one for today. I'm eating my oats with my frozen fr fruits with blueberries in and raspberries as a treat at the end of the day, Wayne. I love those so much. That I, that's the last thing I'm eating. <laughs> But noodle soup sounds amazing. Okay, and this goes in the sink. Friends, come on, I have this full of dishes. How come? How come? Not fair. Okay, what I want to do now is put a layer of chocolate on these and some walnuts. I told my daughter, well, it tasted just like my own. <laughs> you told her how to do the, the soup. Nice.
what but the thing is yesterday was when i was supposed to take them off i got an appointment to take them out so i got 10 days of having them open out in the open <laughs> the give that give giving <laughs> teach your kids to cook see see teach your kids to cook because I cannot believe how this month went. Yesterday would have been my dad's birthday and was kind of an emotional day, you know? Yeah. That was my plan. Now I don't have to cook. Okay, ma'am, go, go, go. I want a thin layer of chocolate all over. You can also use Nutella, I've told you, if that's what you have. But I want this to be covered. Da, da. I learned to cook from the time I was nine. My first made up meal was my own, was shepherd pie, but with sausage instead of minced meat and cheese and corn on top yeah i started with cookies i used to love uh, to make cookies <laughs> Okay, look at this. I started learning to make eggs, then I learned to fry fish, and that was to bake chicken. Pretty soon it passed over, and you're giving me ideas of spring that I can put on my matzo. Nice. Nice. We are uh, expecting Easter in about three weeks, so we are prepping for that. <laughs> Easter for us is a really big holiday that was the first dish what was the first dish so first first I started making cookies cookies and cakes we have here a dessert that is called savarina and after you bake them you make a syrup and you serve them with whipping cream and fruits I made that and my first thing in the kitchen was a chicken roasted um, type of thing. My mom used to uh, make chicken like this in a pot to put water and I made it on stream. 
to put water halfway through the pot and put the lid over the pot uh, upside down so it was like a plate on top of the pot and you used to put spices on your chicken and put the chicken on top of that lid that was turned upside down and put it like that in the oven and the chicken turns out to be super yummy juicy you know doesn't dry out it then gets a really nice color as well so that was the first thing i did like meal my middle brother made wicked pancakes cheesecake and bakes bigger brother made pizza from scratch oh yeah and we used to make pizza but not with dough uh, we used to slice bread and put it in a pan or something and put ketchup or, or ketchup or tomato sauce over and put cheese and salami and we used to bake that and that was our pizza made by us because yeah or uh, at some point a bakery like not a bakery how you call like a bread uh, bakery opened at our block and we used to go there and buy dough so bread that wasn't baked yet so they used to put the dough in a bag and make pizza with that go home and make pizza with it yeah <laughs> um I'm only about three years now and learned how to fry chicken. I was horrible of that. Pretty soon, uh, uh, more like five years. Okay, now I have to put this over half of it. And I'm gonna put around that this. okay so we put a nice layer of filling there welcome back and mom came back with coffee coffee for everyone okay and on top of this another layer of spring the second sponge okay that's there too we have to do dishes after okay Ta dishes after make sure to press this a bit to be in contact with the layer underneath and on these 
we put again chocolate this is, this is going to be crunchy or more like a cake last year my mom and my 12 year old niece tried to make a cake i guess they left it in the oven too long it got like brittle and i really like it that way i told my niece can you please make it again that way she said but i made a mistake and let it cook too long <laughs> um uh, will be you will be able to slice it nicely because this is crunchy now see it's just egg white meringue here that we mix with walnuts and a tiny bit of flour but the chocolate layer and the filling will get it a bit moist here it's not gonna stay this crunchy in the end i guess if you serve it right away will will be crunchier if you serve it right away yeah tell her to make the same mistake <laughs> <laughs> that if you don't eat all hi little skaters what kind of cake is that a walnut cake with chocolate and lots of walnuts i made yesterday two sponges with meringue and walnuts and a filling with uh with chocolate and we put more chocolate on top and i made a ganache so we can put on top of everything yeah layers and layers of yumminess here layers of yumminess okay so that's that and now now walnuts but let me wash my fingers but see from mistakes amazing things can can happen can be invented right yenta
what i could go pretty good wall plaster she's plastering cake real good <laughs> see i can start a new a new job yeah i can start a new job why not in life you have to be ready to do everything you know why not i'm ready give me walls to plaster <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh so good okay let's put water in this and now we pour these on top time to use power tools for cake <laughs> For some reason, I get more frosting on my lips than I do the cake. <laughs> you eat more from the frosting. Okay. And let's put this over. Let me take out the spoon and the knife. So this is now cooler, not cold, cold, but cooler. look at this and you know what we're gonna do next you have any idea what is next can you guess what's next what's gonna happen with this cake we eat it wrong <laughs> wrong answer Next, we put this in the fridge because it needs to set. <laughs> We're not eating right away. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And uh, we learned the lesson of patience this way, my friends. Life is testing us and teach us uh, in different ways. And this way, it's one way. <laughs> okay, cake. Bye, see you tomorrow. <laughs> ah, cannot close the fridge. Another lesson, declutter woman. <laughs> declutter more often woman. Okay, we manage. Let's put this here. Let's take this out of the way. And we need to do dishes, but I need a sip of coffee for real. Like my powers are <laughs> low. I need coffee. Yeah. Super yum. Okay. I really enjoy the sun and these clouds are making me like, you know, 
giving me headaches. Okay, that's there. 